probably one of the most important papers I was involved with was a study that was done primarily by Jeff Volek's group and published this uh, back in 2008. This was a, a randomized controlled trial of people with metabolic syndrome, not really severe metabolic syndrome. And what they did was they randomized them to two dietary interventions. One dietary intervention was a well-formed ketogenic diet. They were told to eat this diet uh, which is shown here on the right-hand side, LCD, which was 20-plus uh, percent protein and 12 percent carbs. Um, and you say, well, that's a lot of carbs, except that they were told to eat this to satiety. And we knew from previous utilization of this diet, Je Jeff had published multiple studies with a well-formulated ketogenic diet in overweight people, and they typically under-eat by 1,000 calories a day. So he knew that they'd be eating about 1,400, 1,500 calories a day. So the other arm got randomized to a, quote, balanced diet, a low-fat diet, uh, where they were told to only eat 1,500 calories per day. One was a restricted diet, one was eaten to satiety. Uh, I'll note at the bottom that on the low-fat diet, they only ate 12 grams of saturated fat per day. On the high-fat diet, they were eating 36 grams of fat, saturated fat per day. They were eating a lot more fat than that. This wasn't high saturated fat in proportion, but they were eating three times as much saturated fat on the low-carbohydrate diet arm. As we usually see, when you do a well-formulated ketogenic diet right, including paying attention to minerals and electrolytes, people on the ketogenic diet lost twice as much weight as the people on the, the low-fat, high-carb diet. You know, there was greater mobilization of body fat, and people misinterpret this and say, Okay, so that means that you have this metabolic advantage of a ketogenic diet. You lose more body fat because you're burning more calories. So they're both eating 1,500 calories, right? But the, the most fascinating data is not the weight change, but it's the change in metabolic and risk parameters. In, on this complex graph, if you look at those, those factors which are outlined in green, those four factors outlined in green are the, the parameters that define metabolic syndrome. And you can see that abdominal fat, um, which is, we didn't do waist circumference, but abdominal fat content by DEXA was significantly, the loss was significantly greater with the ketogenic diet in red. Triglyceride reductions were dramatically better. Both the other groups were restricting calories, losing weight, so they were getting better. That diet is working to improve their metabolic health, but the ketogenic diet worked better. In terms of HDL cholesterol, there was about a 15, 14, 15 percent rise in HDL cholesterol with the ketogenic diet. There was no change with the other diet. And we see this over and over again, that we get a significant uh, increase in HDL, concurrent with the reduction in triglycerides, and you've heard in previous talks, that's a very power predict powerful predictor of reduced atherogenic risk. Uh, and then blood glucose, which wasn't super high in these patients anyway, went down somewhat. That's the screen bar here. So the blood glucose reduction and increase in HDL. The other really impor important factors, insulin resistance measured by HOMA-IR. We saw a dramatic reduction in insulin resistance in this group. But the most paradoxical finding is on the far right outlined in orange, and that's the blood level of saturated fat. Now, we've heard that, that dietary saturated fat, the evidence now is, and, and mainstream thinking is, it's not harmful if you eat saturated fat in your diet. But there is strong evidence that says the amount of saturated fat in your blood is a predictor of future diabetes risk, coronary artery disease risk, and mortality. Here's the paradox. Group in the, with the red bar, the, those on the ketogenic diet, had much greater reduction in saturated fat in their blood, but they were eating three times as many grams of saturated fat per day. 